welcome back to another video. So as y'all can see, I'm not in my room. I'm in my car. I'm gonna try something a little bit differently for this video. I am gonna do my nails only using items from Dollar Tree, which will be a little challenging because um, have you seen Dollar Tree selection for nail items? Like, come on. But at the same time, I love a good challenge. So we're gonna do it. And a lot of you have been requesting this for so long. So let me just go ahead and do it. I'm about to drive down to Dollar Tree. It's only like right up the street from my house. So it's not that far. Don't have to travel far. It is extremely hot outside today. So the quicker I can get back in the house, the better. We're gonna make this into like a nail challenge. I'm gonna start doing more like nail challenges here on this channel. So yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments if you like that, if you wanna see more challenges because I would like to do more challenges. I hate being so serious all the time, whatever that means. But yeah, if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. But y'all, y'all got to see this right here. Look how short I am compared to the darn wheel. Like, Aww. this is me in real life, like for real. Like I'm for real this short. Let me go ahead and put my raid blockers on because this sun is freaking scorching. <laughs> All right, y'all, right, so let's go. treat now and I'm just not realizing I ain't got no mask. Like how you even leave the house without a mask these days? Oh my god, what in here? Just second, what is this? All right, we good. I got one. Like honestly, I'm I don't even have like a concept of what I want to get and how I want to do these nails. I'm just kind of going in here like open-minded. So, let's just see what we can find. So walking into Dollar Tree, I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do a little bit. I walk straight to the nail aisle just to see what they have because sometimes they put some new stuff in there. I was looking for some plain nail tips and they mostly had designs on the nail tips and the only plain ones they had was these. And I went on and got them because that's the only thing they had and you know we got to make it work. I grabbed a nail file because I don't have a Dollar Tree nail file at home so I went on and grabbed that. And then I saw this makeup brush that I can use as a duster and I really need a new duster anyway so i put that in my cart too so as you already know dollar tree doesn't have gel polishes they only have regular nail polish so that's what we're gonna have to use i honestly just started grabbing stuff i'm not even gonna lie i didn't have a color concept so there's that and everything else i wanted to get i already have at home so we can take it back to the house so i spent i spent about i want to say 15 dollars but everything that i got isn't nail stuff like i got some snacks because I was a little lunchy. Don't ever go shopping when you hungry because I promise you, you will buy more than what you're supposed to buy. So I'm really gonna try to like extend these and make them longer. Because as y'all can see, these are some short nails and they're stiletto. And I ain't going for a stiletto shape. So I'm gonna try to like extend them on top of each other and make them longer. I got a nail file. Oh, no, that's all. Oh my God. Okay, so these are all the different colors I bought from Dollar Tree. Y'all can see where it's spilled right here. I'm not gonna lie, I just picked up a whole bunch of random colors and they kind of complement each other, so that's perfect. We got the nail tips, the nail file, and the duster. So I will be using cornstarch in this video. They had cornstarch at Dollar Tree. I just already had some at the house and I was not about to buy another one. So I'm gonna use cornstarch and nail glue. Same thing, I had nail glue already at home and I bought this one from Dollar Tree a while back. So I'm just gonna use the one I have at home. So I'm gonna use the nail file that I got from Dollar Tree to file my nails down. Already this nail file, I can feel that it's probably specifically for natural nails and not for anything else. So the grit is very low, like it's a low grit. I don't think it's gonna do that well with anything else but natural nails. I'm a little nervous about that, but in the meantime, let's just file my nails down. Right. 
So I want to be able to pop this set off right after I get finished with it. So what I'm going to do is put a couple coats of this top coat gel polish from Beatles. I got this from Amazon and I'm running out. Okay, we're all good to go. All right, let's go ahead and get these nail tips open. Boom. So I'm gonna kind of like cut it like right here and make it a nail tip. So it's like that. This is the only part I don't like. It gives a nasty curve, but we still don't work with it. And I know it looks a little crazy right now, but trust the process. So now it's time we do some filing. Now I know originally I said I was gonna stick to this file from Dollar Tree, but I can't even get it to file. So I'm gonna use my own file, but first let me just go ahead and round this out. And I'm gonna use my nail file and watch how big of a difference this makes. So I'm gonna get my drill and kind of drill it off on the side. See how that chunk is right there? Okay, so I got it to a nice square shape. This one I'm kind of mad because I kind of filed it in too much on this side, but we still gonna make it work. Right here, y'all can see there's ridges where I stack them on top of each other and to make everything flat, I'm just gonna take my file and then just file it down. Okay, now everything is flat instead of all bumpy, which is what we need. And already the nails are kind of coming together. Now we can put some cornstarch on. I'm gonna use this cosmetic brush, which I'm using as a duster, to dust all of the little nail dust off. And I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna need this later. So now we can start with some cornstarch. I'm gonna put the cornstarch in this little container here that I got from Dollar Tree. Ew. It's making a mess, it's making a mess. I'm most likely not gonna need this much cornstarch, but we're just gonna keep it rolling. To me, this works best with brush on nail glue because you get to just brush the nail glue on. Starting off, I'm just gonna brush it on the nail tip. And this is nail glue that I got from Dollar Tree, by the way. And really just dip my nail into the cornstarch like this. And this is exactly why I bought a duster. So you can just dust it off when you're done. And then you just repeat that step as many times as you feel like you need to, to get it as thick as you need it to be.
kind of want these to look like acrylic so i'm gonna go ahead and put some glue and cornstarch like up here too a couple more times so as y'all can see i made a huge mess but i'm all finished i did about i want to say four coats of the cornstarch and the nail glue off camera so now this is how they look i have to shape them up and all that other stuff let me just clean up this mess right here before we get into that now that the cornstarch is dried we're good to start filing which is my favorite part so I'm just gonna file it like I would a regular acrylic nail. Nothing different, nothing fancy. look at this right quick this is before filing and then this is after filing you already know how i get i start to get too turned when everything starts to come together i'm just not realizing i didn't buy a buffer from dollar tree i believe they should have buffers but i'm just gonna take a buffer and just smooth out the surface of the nail. Alrighty. Okay, so I have these colors and like I said before, they're all regular nail polish they're not gel unfortunately so i'm trying to figure out how the devil am i gonna like style these nails they honestly look kind of cute white but i'm gonna put some nail polish on them so i'm still trying to put together in my head what i want don't know but i want to start with this on the thumb <laughs> start with one coat and then put another coat once this dries I just put a second coat of pink on top and as it's drying it's kind of drying like i don't know if y'all can see this but it, you can see like some bumps and lumps and lines as it's drying and i don't like that and one thing i noticed that i forgot to get was top coat so i'm gonna see if i can put a top coat of gel on top of this after i'm finished just to top it off because clearly this needs it but I'm still trying to figure out something else to do with these. I'm gonna try to do something on this middle finger really fast. I don't know what this is I just did, but we're just gonna go with it. See, look at those lines. It's messing everything up. I'm gonna try to put this top coat on top to really kind of bring everything together. So 
so you guys here is the finished dollar tree look honestly it doesn't look that bad you can still tell that it's a little bumpy in some areas but other than that i honestly give this for dollar tree i give this a 10 out of 10 i take it back i give it an 8 out of 10 just because i don't know how i feel about the design i did and it's still a little bumpy but other than that these look pretty good especially coming from dollar tree i really like how this video turned out so i think i'm gonna do more challenges on this channel so make sure you subscribe and join the family so you can keep up with all of the challenges that i have here on youtube and make sure you follow me on instagram so you do not miss my monthly giveaway ways all right that's it for today i will see you guys next week with another video bye